Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's see how we can write a simple Hello World program and execute that in AWS. When you learn a new IT technology such as Java, Python, etc., you usually write a Hello World program as your first program, right? I've seen people wanting to do the same thing in AWS when they start learning with various AWS services. In this video, I'll show you how to write a simple Java program, compile it and execute it. And for that, we will only use the Cloud9 service. And I'll also show you a simple Python Hello World program where we are going to use Cloud Shell, not Cloud9. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Python Hello World program using the Cloud Shell. So as the first step, you have to log into your AWS. Now you need to click on the Cloud Shell. Here you can see the symbol. Click on Cloud Shell and open that. If you want to make this big, you can open it in New Browser tab. Let me do that. So this is the Cloud Shell terminal. And basically this is an easy tool. And a good thing is that most of the commonly used softwares are already installed on this. You can check if Python 3 is already installed by checking Python 3 version. You can see that Python 3.7.16 is available. So let me write a simple Hello World program. You can use the VI editor or if you want to use Nano editor, you can use that as well. I'll name it as Hello World.py and the code can be one single line. Let me first type the code here. Let's initialize the runtime. And then you just need to say print hello world. And if you want to write your name, hello world from so and so, you can write that. That's it. So the program is done. You can escape, click on escape, colon WQ or write quit. The program is ready. Now you need to give execute permission for your program. You can say chmod plus x hello world dot pi. So it has got execute permission. Now you just need to execute it by issuing this command hello world dot pi. And you can see that it has just printed hello world. So you can expand this program to make it a program for adding two numbers, etc. The next thing which we are going to see is a simple Java program which does similar thing. So this time, instead of using Cloud Shell, let me use Cloud9. So let me go back. Let me go to Cloud9. Cloud9 is an integrated development environment from AWS. Click on Cloud9, right click and say open link in new tab. That is better. Create a new environment. You can give a name Java Cloud9. Any name you can give. Description also you can give anything. That is okay. New EC2 instance. That is fine. T2 micro is fine. Instance type. Because after all, Cloud9 is also an EC2. You can use the platform Amazon Linux 2 or Ubuntu, whichever you like. Leave everything else as default and say create. This will take at least one minute for creating the environment. Now you can click on this. It will not be ready still. It will take one minute as I said, but let me click on this and let's wait for the Cloud9 to be ready. Okay, Cloud9 is ready now. You can see that the terminal has come up. The terminal looks very small, right? You can make it big by clicking on this. You can see the icon here. Just click on this. Yeah, now it is big enough. For a big programmer like you, yeah, you need big screens to code up, right? Code up big programs. Okay, so as I said, we are going to write a simple Java program, which does the same thing. So right now we have got the Cloud9 terminal ready. Let us see if Java is already installed. It will be because this is a platform provided by AWS. So Java will be there. You can see that already J open JDK version 11.0.18 is already present. So if Java is already installed, what next? You just need to write the program. So let me write the program using nano editor this time, nano hello.java. 
Now I have my code here. I'm going to copy paste that. In the video description, I'll give you a link where I have included all these codes. So let me copy paste my code. Okay, I have copied my code. So you can see that it does something more than the hello world. Just to print the hello world, the first line is enough. Then I have added another line. It is printing a message. The sum of two and three is five. You can change that message. And then I'm trying to read two numbers as arguments when I execute this program. So basically, I'll find the sum of the two numbers you are entering as arguments along with this program. That's why it is reading the argument zero. The first argument it is reading and converting it to integer. And it is doing the same thing with the second one and it is finding the sum. Then it will print out the sum after formatting. You can see that. I don't need to explain much about the formatting syntax, etc. Now let us compile and execute this. So how do we do that? First, you have to save it. Control O. First, you have to enter Control O. Then it's asking file name to write hello.java. That is fine. So just enter. Then Control X to exit. So the program is ready. I need to compile it. So Java compiler, is it there? You can check. It will be there. Yes, the compiler is there. And the file which I have created, that is also there. Now let me compile the Java code by using Java compiler, Java C hello dot Java. Okay, now do ls and see that the hello dot class is created after the compilation. Now how do I execute it? Just say Java hello. And you have to give two numbers because it needs to find the sum of two numbers, right? So I will enter 100 and 305. I'm executing this. So you can see that first it prints hello world and then it says the sum of two and three is five and then as the last step it prints our two numbers and the sum let us try with two other numbers this time one two three and one two three so you can see that it is providing the sum so it is very simple to write a hello world program and execute in aws i have seen Many people wanting to do a hello world program in AWS and they are not very sure. So I hope this helps all those people. I'll come back with another useful video soon. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you. Bye.